when you're in the Christian bubble surrounded by fellow Christians, everything makes perfect sense and it's all internally coherent and logical and everything happens for a reason. <laughs> Uh, but then when you're not in the bubble, which I wasn't, uh, when I went to graduate school, nobody was religious, or maybe they were, I don't know, it didn't, didn't make any difference, never came up. Uh, so I realized that in, when I didn't believe anymore, uh, it didn't really matter, no one, no one really cared. Other than I think my siblings were a bit relieved that I quit hand, hounding them about, you know, witnessing to them for Jesus, you know, and I mean, when you're an evangelical, that's what you're supposed to do, by definition, is you evangelize, and I did, so... I think they were relieved, but I was in my 20s, so I didn't really have anything to lose, and I wasn't married, I didn't belong to a big church community that I'd be ousted from, and I wouldn't lose any friends, really, and so it, 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 it was easy for me. I can see why it's harder for other people in different stages of their lives, where they come from these small towns. You know, I live in Los Angeles, I mean, come on, <laughs> you know, we're surrounded by you know, atheists and agnostics and free thinkers and Deepak Chopra fans and gays and lesbians and blacks and Mexicans. You know, we just have it all here. It doesn't matter. Nobody cares. So I, I'm more sympathetic, of course, to people that do not live in big liberal cities like L.A. So um, when we get letters from people saying, oh, man, I found your magazine, read your book, and you have no idea. It's like everybody in this town goes to church, every one of them, everybody I work with, my whole family. You know, I, I'm alone. It's like, wow, okay, this is a different world than we live in in academia or in, in big cities.